Hello, my little gravy boats! Now, the thing is, the video that I had already recorded, the intro, if you will, uh, my mic wasn't working apparently during that whole thing, so now I'm re-recording it. So stuff's gonna be a bit different, but here we go, let's get into it, shall we? So yeah, uh, this house is done, and so is this one. Um, spoilers. <laughs> But yeah, didn't work out, uh, that first recording that I did. So here we go, we're redoing it. The goal for today was to get two houses done. Which we did. This one, and then this little shed over here. But you'll see those in more detail later. The other thing that I was talking about in that first clip was... Plans for our main base. So what I was saying was, I think we're going to build our main base here on the end island. Because we've got the purple galaxy sky... And an Enderman coming after me. One second, please. Cool. I just love the fact that my dead body just has the sombrero on it. Alright, well anyway. What I was saying. <laughs> but we've got the purple sky. And it just matches with the purple theme that we seem to be going with. And the plans that I have... Oh man. Um, I'm super excited for. But we're going to make a castle. I was saying probably towards the back of the island. And then this, since we can't break these, we can make this like the center point of a courtyard or something like that in the castle. So that could be really cool. And the dragon egg will stay up there. It's not there for now because, yeah, I took it. You'll see later on in the video what happened to that. But, yes, we're gonna make a castle here and also a dragon. So the way that I was explaining this is it's basically going to be like very Maleficent vibes. So the purple and then green fire everywhere. And yeah, I think it's going to be super cool. So now we can get into the rest of the video because I think that's all that I was saying in the intro. So yeah, here we go. Okay guys, we've got two of the houses done. I'll go ahead and show you those first. So this is one of them. There's a snow block here. All right. <laughs> yeah, it was snowing. I, I guess it was winter or something. Is winter? Was winter? Something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's snow everywhere. This is the first house though. <laughs> this is the outside. I just did the same kind of- hello, sir. I did the same kind of decorating stuff as this house here. So we just got the azalea leaves all around, chains, glass panes, these lament vines. So that's the outside. And then the inside is just simple. We've got some of these ender sconces. Uh, like a little sink area, a stove, and then I didn't know that this exists. It's a river, river pantry, because I use the river logs and stuff to make it. But it's a pantry that you can, like, you, you, you could put stuff in here. I didn't know that existed. But yeah, it, it exists in here now. <laughs> and then I just got a little table and stuff and a little bit of bookshelves and one of these in here for decoration and then a nice little painting and some purple beds because got to keep with the theme. <laughs> but yeah, these other little houses are going to be pretty minimal just cuz they're the normal villager houses, but still really nice looking and whatnot. But yeah, that's the first house. And then this second building that I got done is this little shed. So I did we're in, we're in a, okay. So I made two of the sides a little bit shorter than the other two, just to give it a little bit more, I don't know, something. <laughs> and oh my goodness, all the loud noises. And this is what we got from that. I think it looks pretty cool. And then for the inside of here, I just went with the dragon tree fences, because it's not gonna be a house, it's just a little shed kind of area. And I just put a bunch of chests in here. So this is where like the seeds and stuff are gonna go because they've got this little farm. Uh, what else do I have? I've got some saplings in here. Uh, some just like random bits and stuff. And then this chest here is like 
fishing rod because, you know, they like to go fishing, I guess. And, like, shears to shear the sheep and some saddles for their horses. And then this I was planning on having as, like, a food chest so they could put, like, foodstuffs in here. So I got some apples. And then we just come up here to some more chests. And we have a little owl friend. Where is he? Oh, yeah, there he is. There's a little owl friend that's just been chilling there. <laughs> uh, but I didn't put anything in these chests up here just yet. This is just like extra storagey kind of things. But yeah, I thought that'd just be really cool to have a little storage shed for them. And then of course all these other little houses that need to be built still. Uh, the way that I build houses, it takes a, a good chunk of time. Especially with all like the little detailing and stuff that I put into it. Yeah, I'm getting better, though, with this style of building. It's the style that I've been aiming for for pretty much my whole Minecraft career and could never get there. But now we're there, and I'm just kind of trying to perfect it a bit more to me. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Now, for the second thing that we're going to go do, we need to get something a little bit special put on our trusty old pick there. And luckily I did find a vein mining book on one of our many a quest. And wow, only two. That's not what I was expecting at all. But we have an efficiency five on breaking three pick already. And we're gonna go ahead and put vein mining on it because we need to take all of these down. Now, how do I make this work for me is the question. Oh, okay, just don't hold shift. Fantastic. But yes, we have to take all of these obsidian pillars down. Number one, because we're using this end island for our base, of course, so we need to take them down to make room. But it's also going to be very, very helpful with the building of the base because I'm going to be using the obsidian for, I'm thinking, the dragon that I want to make. I'm thinking we're going to use the obsidian to make the dragon, amongst other blocks, of course. Yeah, we definitely need to use the obsidian. So it's actually a really good idea to put it out on this end island, I think. And I do not want to fall into the void. So if we could, um, you know, we're not, that's, that's cool too, I guess. Ah, dirt. My my trusty dirt. I need to get out of here. You know, top down would be the best idea, I think, for this. Why didn't I think of that initially? Okay, so this may be an issue. I didn't realize that you couldn't break these. The other thing that I was thinking as well is we're gonna have to spawn the ender dragon a few times so that we can get each type of dragon, because I do want to collect all of them. <laughs> collect. I say that as that just sounds really bad. I want to collect the dragons. <laughs> but yeah, I do want to have one of each type of dragon. So we're going to have to fight the ender dragon a few times to get the ones that we're missing. So these are going to end up respawning in anyway, but that just means more obsidian, which we're going to need a ton. I do need to show you guys the schematic for this dragon. But... But this being here, it kind of makes it hard to get rid of all of these. And I don't know if I'd want to try and like cheatsy doodle them to break them. Because uh, I don't know what that would mean for fighting the dragon. Like, would they respawn in though? Because if they'd respawn in, that wouldn't be a big deal. And then we could just cheatsy doodle break them again. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe we just, we'll just, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a go and we'll, we'll find out. It'll be okay. It's gonna be fine. Watch me do this and it's gonna be one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. Goodness sake, how much does this get rid of? Like we are tearing through this and I am not mad about it. I am somewhat terrified that I'm going to look at an Enderman the wrong way and they're gonna eat me for breakfast. Holy macaroni, Batman. Look at all this obsidian. Well, I wasn't expecting that much, but I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't expect that much. These pillars are tall and they be thick. But yeah, now we just have this floating guy up here. I don't know what to do about him. But um, I'm trying to think what it would be best to do because if we're getting that much obsidian just from the one pillar, 
Like, the rest of these should be enough, right? And there's other ways to get obsidian as well. So, like, maybe we just fight the dragon first and then get rid of them all. And then that way we can get rid of these things for good. Yeah. I think we're, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna get all the eggs first. And then... Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? I may have just messed up. Maybe. Oh no, it's right here. Woo! Is it just gonna keep teleporting? I thought that I could just click it and I'd get it and it'd be all right, but no, I guess not, okay. Do I need a piston or something? Okay, so this is saying it's just dragon egg from Minecraft and... Uh... Okay. Ah! Oh, I forgot that. Oh, now the, now the pick, now the pick. The pick. Oh God. Um, we're gonna have to have a regular pick as well. <laughs> because we don't... We don't want the vein miner thing all the time. Like that's, oh my God. Um, yeah, this is not, I did not think about this. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go back and get another pick. And then we're gonna see what we can do about this dragon egg guy because we're gonna have to collect them and we can't collect them if they're just gonna keep teleporting. So yeah. I'm sorry, was I just able to sleep through a blood moon? I don't think you're- you're not supposed to be able to do that, so I don't understand why that just happened. Wait, we have- we- what am I doing? We have all this- all these goodies over here! Yes, give me one of these! Ooh, efficiency four. This little green goblin guy is still here. Go away. I missed. I might need to get a piston or something to break it and then pick it up, but I'm gonna try to do it with... Where is it? I'm gonna try to do it with a torch, possibly. All right, let me see if I can do this. Um, uh, damn it, it wasn't fast enough. Um, all right, I don't know what happened there, but it auto it it did it turned into the Dragon Mount's legacy egg. And I was able to just pop it. That was very confusing. I don't understand why that had to be ridiculously dumb. But alright, fine. It's whatever. And then because we do have to take the egg off the top of here, what we can do is we'll fight the dragon one extra time so that the egg stays up there. And then we can just keep that as like Maleficent's baby egg or something. <laughs> now the thing about how we want to do this, we're not going to want to keep the end stone, I don't think, is the first, like, the top layer. Um, but I don't know what to make it. There are a lot of different materials in the end now that we could possibly make it. Just steal it from a different end biome. But I don't know what we would change it to. We definitely seem to be a very purple vibe <laughs> This, this uh, for this playthrough here. And there are a few different purple biomes as well. I don't know. We'll figure that out when it comes time to do so. That is not right now. However, we are going to have to gear up to do this dragon fight like 50 different times. I do need to figure out how many different types of eggs there are. Actually, can I do this? This doesn't start with a G. Dragon. Eight? Yeah, including the end dragon. So there's eight. All right, so we're gonna have to kill the dragon six times? Where is he? Because we have an ice dragon right over there, so we don't have to worry about the ice dragon. Yeah, like six, seven times? So that we have the egg to replace the ones that we take? Seven times. We're gonna go with it. So I think what we're going to do is just collect all of the end dragon eggs in the shulker box, and then once we have all the ones that we need to convert, we can just set up little sections and convert them all at the same time because I also am going to have to make a little dragon house thing. <laughs> so I think what would be really cool is to have a their their own little house 
not like full on house like this, but like, I don't know. I don't want to say shed because that sounds, I don't know, peasant like, <laughs> but if they have their, their own little house and we make each house in the theme of like what type of dragon they are. So like ice dragon, we do like out of icy looking blocks and the fire dragon we'll do out of red toned, fiery looking, y you know what I'm saying. So I think we'll do that. We just have to fight the dragon a few times. So for that, we're definitely gonna need a lot more arrows. But yeah, arrows are going to be our best friend for this dragon fight. So I think what we're going to do next episode is we're going to kill the end dragon a bunch <laughs> and then we'll harvest up all of the obsidian from the pillars and then destroy those little end crystal holder guys and most likely I'll get some of these houses done as well probably off camera I think I'll try to finish up as many as I can we're definitely going to have to find some more amethyst geodes because just getting the shards and making them into blocks takes a really long time and with the amount of houses that we're going to make, I we definitely don't have enough. And I also think that it'd be really cool to use some of the amethyst blocks in our main base build. I'm not quite sure about that one yet, but we might do it. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys liked it, please demolish the like button gently. You know it's very important. And also, if you would like to, you can subscribe and become a little gravy boat. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! That was only slightly terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I'm okay. It's fine.